Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, hello, my name is Bushra. And today I'm going to be reviewing some Jaclyn Cosmetics lipsticks. I have three of them. I have the shade Fussy, Perfectionist, and Sophia. I think it's Sophia. Pretty sure it's Sophia. <laughs> and yeah, I got them on launch day. I had no issues getting them. I went to the website the minute it launched and I was able to get anything that I wanted but I got these three because I was honestly confused there were no swatches like real lip swatches on any brown girls and everything looked really good on Jaclyn she swatched them on her arm but she swatched it on her lips later on Instagram with not that great of a lighting so I don't know I was just very confused on what to get it and nobody had the PR packages so I just wanted to see for myself what these lipsticks were all about and I just want to let you know that I'm very aware of all the controversy surrounding this lipstick. Is Jaclyn Hill ever without a controversy? Like ever? But um, yeah, I want to let you know that I am aware and my lipsticks look perfect. They look beautiful, they look perfect and they smell really good. So that's the only reason that I'm swatching them on my lips. I want to see what they look like on my skin tone. I want to see what the formula is like. And I want to see for myself if my batch is good. Because so far, from what I've seen, every single person that is posting something online on Twitter and like anywhere, their lipsticks seem to be kind of damaged. And mine look really good on the outside. So I'm just curious to know like if they are actually good. So I'm going to do the swatches and then we're going to get to the good, the bad, and the fugly. I wiped everything off and I'm gonna apply a Maybelline lipstick that I have. It's a Maybelline nude lipstick called Stormy Sahara. And this is old. This is my personal stash. I haven't used it in a while. So I changed my lipstick and I'm gonna keep a Maybelline one on because I like this formula better. I expected the Jaclyn Cosmetics, I keep saying Jaclyn Hill, like, you know, like the name change and everything. So the lipsticks that she made, I expected them to be very creamy, rich, buttery. That's how they advertised it. And it is creamy, and the color payoff is good, but it's kind of sticky at the same time. It feels like, kind of like an old lipstick. This is an old lipstick. I'm wearing a lipstick right now that is eight years old. This needs to be thrown out but it still feels better than hers. And I don't think hers is that old. So I'm just kind of, I'm confused about the formula. It doesn't feel, maybe it's just not good quality. Like I don't think that the quality of this lipstick is that good. So let's talk about the packaging. It's a nice shape, it's pretty, it's sparkly, it's very Jaclyn Hill, it has JH in the front. Uh, there's a little crystal-y thing on top. The glitter is not like gritty. You can't feel the texture. It feels nice and heavy like a high-end lipstick. But I can see that all the costs went to the packaging. This is an $18 lipstick. And she said that it was going to be affordable and everything. But I don't know what kind of world we live in. But $18 is not affordable for a lipstick. Maybelline for five six dollars that's affordable this is not affordable for literally 50 more cents you can buy a MAC lipstick and MAC lipsticks are some of the best lipsticks ever in my opinion I love MAC lipsticks so for $18 you basically pay 
$15 for the packaging and the rest on the actual lipstick itself because the the actual like lipstick it feels like cheap it just feels a little I don't want to call it cheap but I feel like it is like the formula is not that great I expected a lot better I, I expected it to be like really buttery and smooth and it's just not to me it feels like a low quality lipstick and like a really nice packaging I don't even okay the packaging is nice but it's like not my taste I'm a couple years ago I would have loved it I loved everything glitzy glammy looking and I do still like it but this looks more like a limited edition like for a winter collection something like that so I do kind of find it tacky but it's not my makeup line it's hers and this is very like her personality as far as the colors i got i actually like all three of them but perfectionist is probably my favorite and i have to say they didn't feel rough or anything scratchy on my lips and by the way if you hear any snoring all three of my dogs are behind me and they're sleeping and perfectionist has these little lumps in it. I'm gonna take a picture of it because my camera does not want to focus on it. And it looks lumpy. So I just took this out. I wanted to see if it was like one of those little buttery balls, but this is plastic. Like, it will not, you know, like go away. The lipstick is off it now. It's just, it's just a piece of plastic. I found two of them. So, am I gonna recommend these lipsticks? I'm gonna say no. My friend actually asked me if I recommend them and I told her no. And if she really, 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 really wanted them still, um, I'm gonna tell you the same thing. Wait it out, don't buy it now because I wasn't really that impressed. <laughs> yeah, like for $18 I expected a much better lipstick and I really wanted to see if my products were damaged too, and they are. <laughs> that really sucks. So I'm, I am gonna return mine. She's taking them back, and it says that you have to send in a picture of the damaged lipsticks, and I don't think that's fair, because what if the weird debris or like the butterball things are deeper in the lipstick, like you have to keep using it more. I think if you wanna return it, you should just be able to return it that's that like I don't like it and that reason should be good enough now the ugly parts of the lipstick so people have been getting lipsticks that are embedded with fibers or hair I saw a video Brianna Fox she pulled out a whole like three inch piece of hair from her lipstick and that was really gross and I saw Raw Beauty Christie's video Hers was the only one that I found to be like very unbiased. Her video was really interesting because she also had a different perspective. She got the PR package sent to her and then she also bought the lipsticks not knowing she was going to get the PR package. And there was a big difference between the two. The PR package was way better quality and they looked better. You know how the PR packages were sent out late? I. I don't think Jacqueline's lying about everything, but that's one thing. You spent five years developing this lipstick, okay? Five years, and you're telling me your PR packages were late? They just happened to go to the people, like the influencers, right after the launch? I find that kind of crazy and hard to believe. And I think that she saw the PR packages and she saw the quality of those lipsticks. Like she opened a couple and she was like, whoa, these look weird. So they took those out and they replaced it with newer lipsticks. And I thought that I was getting some of the newer ones, but I don't think it matters at this point. I just think they're bad. And I'm really sad to say that because I loved her little champagne pop highlighter thing. I loved the Morphe palette and like I didn't really care for the vault, never bought it and then there were like all these issues with that too so I'm glad I didn't. And then these lipsticks, it's kind of crazy and there's literally a petition right now to 
like stop her from selling them people are begging her to like recall the lipsticks and I just wanted to see for myself like it seems like a lot of the same pictures were circulating I was talking to one of my friends about this lipstick launch and I was telling her like how bad I felt I was like damn like that's a lot of money to lose on this launch like she spent her money on it this and that and then my friend's like well I don't really feel bad because she probably has insurance on all this I didn't even think about that and I was like you're right she probably does have insurance on all this the whole idea is just crazy and some people are losing sleep over this come on you guys should not be losing sleep over this it's it's a lipstick the only person that should be losing sleep over this launch is Jaclyn Hill she it's been a few days and she still hasn't said anything about it I find that crazy like you gotta say something because it's starting to look really bad but I think she's like sitting down with her lawyers looking through the lipsticks but I think more likely she's sitting down with her little PR team and talking to her lawyers because you need to recall these lipsticks because it seems like every single person that bought some of them there's something wrong with them they don't look normal even my Maybelline $5 lipstick this thing is like eight years old there are no lumps on it, nothing, okay? Like, it doesn't smell bad. My lipstick smelled really good, by the way. I don't, they didn't really have a taste, but they smelled sweet and delicious. That's why I was like, it's probably a new batch, because people were like, hey, mine smells like Play-Doh or really old. And I am just so happy that mine didn't have like furs on it or those black like little holes, like the air bubbles. So Raw Beauty Christy, she had a microscope in her video that was really cool and I was watching it on my TV so it's like a big screen and when it went close up on those like lipsticks the holes and it had the mold and there was this one lipstick that had like that had like this slime on it it was green I'm getting like nauseous thinking of it sorry it had like this slime looking I'm like spitting now it had this like slimy looking thing on it that was like dark and like black dots that looked like mold it just looked so disgusting and I put these lipsticks on like after seeing that but mine didn't look like that you know like dude five years five years to just come out with some lipsticks not only that five years to launch the worst product in YouTube beauty guru history this sucks <laughs> like this sucks this is so much worse than some eyeshadow palette where like you can't blend the eyeshadows patchy eyeshadows or the eyeshadows are not pigmented this is a lot worse this is legit like a health hazard and i don't want to say that it's moldy because i don't want it to be moldy <laughs> it's grossing me out but you know I hope it's not moldy like only a chemist can confirm that but I'm telling you as a friend don't buy these and if you must buy them like girl there are way more lipsticks out there that you could buy beautiful nudes and way creamier like better quality product it's this is just not it okay I'm gonna get a refund I'm gonna get my money back they were not cheap I'm not gonna use them again so yeah Tell me what are your thoughts on it? Did you buy it? Did you get lumpy lipsticks? Lumpy little hairy lipsticks with black moldy dots? Ugh, let me know. This is terrible. Like, this is a catastrophe. It's almost comical. That's why I'm kind of like, <laughs> it's crazy. Like, I feel bad, but it's, it's her name on the product so she has to say something and I think something went wrong in the distribution and manufacturing thing because there was no quality control none is what it seems like they keep saying online on the website that a very small percentage of the lipsticks are like damaged or contaminated I just don't believe that to be true like I don't believe that to be true at this point because everything that I see on it is just negative like you got to use them a couple times to sometimes like have like the lumpiness show up 
by lumpy, I mean like the little balls of butter or little balls or of plastic shards or something. That's unacceptable. It's very unacceptable. I, especially from an $18 lipstick, like at least get the formula right, let alone have trash like just going up inside your lipstick. That's awful. Yeah, that's all I have to say. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. That's fine. And let me know your opinions on the matter. I just think it's crazy. Like, this is crazy. Is this not crazy? And some people are actually asking like, hey, my lipsticks are hairy and lumpy. Is this normal, girl? No! That is weird. That's awful. Throw that shit away. No, you gotta keep it. Get your money back. Return it. Because I think if more people return it, then... Jaclyn Hill will realize that a lot more lipsticks are damaged because a lot of times people just don't want to return things You know like we get lazy. We don't want to return things if you return the product They will see just how many people are returning it. So don't hold on to your lipsticks Just return them. It's not worth it. It's not worth your health. It's not worth my health I wipe them off right after my lip swatches and I will never be applying them again and that's that I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.